What's up YouTube? Ryan back another card opening video today. Guys, we have an affordable product in 2020. Who would have guessed I got this hobby box for under $60. All right, you guys, today we are opening Topps Heritage Minor League Edition. Today's MILB stars in the 1971 Topps card design. We're guaranteed one on-card autograph, which is a big selling point for me on this product, plus one autograph or memorabilia card. So I'm guessing we're going to get one memorabilia card and one auto. So two hits. Guys, my LCS was selling these for $54. So I think I walked out of there around $60. So extremely excited about the price. It's so hard to find anything these days that is under hundred bucks, let alone under $200, let alone under $75. That includes a bunch of cards, 18 packs, eight cards per pack. So we're going to get a ton of cards in this. You guys, it's not a super valuable product though. If we do hit a good autograph, it'll pay for the box. If we hit a nice short print, it could pay for the box. It's just, it's, it, this is definitely a hard product to hit something nice in, but that's why it's priced out the way it is. But who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. I'm going to try to rip through this pretty quick. Um, I love minor league players, you guys know that, so I'm going to try not to, to lollygag too much while we open this, but let's go ahead, let's get this thing opened and see if we can pull something good. So it looks like we got a topper. I don't know if this comes in every one, but baseball's greatest moments, one minor league baseball special insert. So we'll probably just do that first. And I'm not sure if the auto will be flipped or not. So we probably will not be able to save that. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Before we jump into the video, you guys, if you guys like my content, enjoy watching me open up some packs, please give my video a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a ton. If you're not yet subbed to do that also, we've been killing it lately. This helps fund a lot of stuff that I've been opening and pretty much directly what I am making off these videos is what I'm using to open these boxes. So helps me out a ton. I appreciate you guys. Let's see if we can pull something cool. All right. So we'll start with this insert. It feels like a very tall card. So probably won't have anything to put this in. I'm going to try not to give it away. I didn't see a name on there. And it looks like it's going to be Mackenzie Gore. Sweet. So the number one pitching prospect in baseball. Happy with the name there. New level, same success. One of the game's greatest moments. Not number, nothing like that, but it's cool. It's a cool name to have. I'll take it as a W. I'll put it in my save pile, that's for sure. All right, let's rip into this thing. Again, I'm going to try to do it kind of quick. There's a lot of cards to get through, though. It's going to be a weird product, you guys. I'm going to have three I'm going to have three piles. I'm going to have don't cares. I'm going to have prospects that are kind of like good names. Then I'm going to have ones that I want like for sure to save. So Canario, he's a good name. Ashby, not crazy about him. Gray Kessinger, don't know. O'Neal Cruz. Oh, I PC him, but DUI, he's going to be in prison for a few years, unfortunately. And it looks like we have an auto in the first pack. I'm going to save it. It's a backwards card, so I'm going to save it. We'll save the rest of that pack to the end. I don't want to give away potentially the only reason to watch this video in the first 10 seconds of me opening it. So we'll see. Maybe we'll get a second auto. Who knows? Ian Anderson. I'm going to put him aside. Dylan Carlson. I'll put him aside. Jordan Adams. Good name. Miguel Amaya. Good name. Nah, I don't really care about Miguel Amaya. Casey Mize. Great name. Marco Luciano, awesome name. Kirloff, awesome name. Dude, there's so many good minor league players. It's actually crazy. And Heritage is a weird product. I'll probably have to go ahead and look through these at least twice to see if I have any short prints, stuff like that. Because I honestly don't know exactly what I'm looking for for a short print. Looks like we have something white at the back. It's probably just like an insert or something. Mark Vientos, third base. Don't know who that is. Michael Toglia, decent prospect. Two back-to-back -back first base prospects for the... The Rockies. Grant Levine's kind of a beast. We keep him. Francisco Alvarez. A lot of people are high on him. Kybert Ruiz. Esteban Florio. And if I don't put your favorite players aside, I'm sorry. I just am higher on some people than others. And then it looks like we have an insert here. It's a scratch off of 
Grant Campbell, team captain. I have no idea who that is. I have no idea what these even are. I never have even looked at them before. I think it's like a game you can play. But anyways, don't really care about that. Bad name to have. Bad name to have. Never even heard of the guy. If I haven't heard of him, it's probably pretty small. Cole Wynn. Look at that. Six though. I'm happy with that. I have a little collection of him growing since the start of this year. Kyle Isbell, home run leaders, Mason Martin, Yadiel Hernandez, and Michael Geddes. I like Mike our uh, I like Mason Martin. I made a, a minor league video on him. Looks like we have a mini on the back of this. Try to save it to the end. Use Neil Diaz, forgot how to play baseball. Pearsons, Kingman, and Robles. Innings leaders, that's a weird one to have. Mason Martin, I'm going to put him in my pile. Shane McClanahan, he's from Arizona, I think. No, I'm thinking of a different person. Thinking of another raised pitcher. Oh, who am I thinking of? I can't remember right now. There's another lefty raised pitcher. He's from Arizona. Ryan Weathers. Good name. 2019 game one. Bobby Bradley home run lifts Clippers. It's a cool card. Don't really care about it, though. Miguel Vargas. And our mini of Joey Bart. That's cool. Nothing special about it, but it's a good name to have. I'll put it aside. All right, let's keep it going. We have a fancy card in this one. It's got like a blue tint to it. So maybe a numbered card of some sort. We're at Honeywell, Trevor Larnick. I think he's a beast. He's out of Oregon State. Chris Bubik, Joe Ryan, Tarek Skubal, strikeout leaders. Jesus Sanchez, Fredis Nova, and congratulations. Are we getting two autographs in this potentially? No, we're not. What is this? Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs. Make your pro debut with Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs. Have your own baseball card features in a 2021 Topps baseball product. Huh? Is this in every box? Each box contains two chances to make your pro debut with Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs. Okay. So there's going to be two of these. I'm stupid. Don't care. Two in every box. That is not very rare at all. Because we have another insert-ish card. Or a scratch-off, I think, on the back. It's a thick card. Campuzano. He's pretty good. Sanford. Christian Robinson for my D-backs. Cool. Perdomo D-backs. Hankins is another good prospect there. Travis Swaggerty. Kind of underperformed. And our scratch-off this time. Cool. This is a good name to have. Andrew Vaughn. Probably one of the best offensive, uh, maybe the best offensive prospect the White Sox have yet to call up. He'll probably be on the team next year, I'm guessing. He's a stud out of UCLA. Dude, absolutely mashes. Brandon Marsh. Cabrian Hayes, that's a good name. Wander Franco, great name. Nick Madrigal for the PC, awesome. Gilbert Jimenez, Sam Huff, that's a good name. Or I guess I should, I keep on forgetting about my pile on the right for ones that I care more about. Sam Huff. Tanaj Thomas. This guy, uh, he's got an interesting autograph. A couple of his Bowman Chrome models, he signed like on this part of the card. It was kind of weird. And Evan White. Still got a good amount of packs here. Honestly, guys, for 60 bucks, like, if you're just looking for a fun rip, this is probably the product for you. And this is exactly why I bought it. And it has a guaranteed auto in it. So Ryan Rollison, decent prospect for the Rockies. Bobby Dalbeck out of U of A. He's actually doing, he had a pretty good little debut with the Red Sox. He's got a ton of power. Drew Waters is a beast. Jazz Chisholm, I think will be good eventually. He's not ready yet. Sod Poodles. What the heck? Hudson Potts, third base. Is this numbered? It is out of 50. I feel like I wish that was a better name. I don't know anything about Hudson Potts, though. No idea. It's a cool card, though. It looks like it might be like a white refractor or white parallel. 20 out of 50. So probably going to be our only numbered card, I would guess. Who knows? Maybe we'll get another one. 
Tim Tebow. Got to keep that name aside. Luis Garcia, pretty good rookie debut. Clark Schmidt, I am not sold on him. Corbin Carroll for the D-backs, number one draft pick last year. Grant, Grant Gambrell. Oh, this is an autograph. We might have two autos, you guys. I barely even saw that. I almost looked over it. Grant Gambrell, pitcher, autograph, not numbered. So not, not the auto we wanted, but... Again, I'm, I'm going into this product with no expectations. It looks like we're going to get a second auto, though, unless they have a memorabilia card that's extremely thin. But, you know, it is what it is. I, I need to look into him. I have no idea about him at all. Maybe he's a good prospect that I've never heard of. Matthew Allen and Christian with Dom's go-ahead home run. I don't know what my favorite card is so far, honestly. Not the auto. Mateo. Jackson Kowar. I think he's pretty good. Chase Strumpf. Quinn Priester. Casey Mize. Mini. Our minis have been solid. Bart and Mize. Victor v Victor Victor Mesa. Huge disappointment. Ronnie Mauricio for the Mets. I think he'll be pretty good. If he can grow into some power, I think Mauricio will be solid. But until he does that, I'm not sold on him. Anderson Franco seals the series with a five-out save. Bryce Ball, Nick Heath, Khalil Lee, and Fargus were stolen base records. We have another scratch-off. This is Andy Pages. This dude's actually a beast for the Dodgers. I think the Dodgers win for the best developing farm system also. So it's probably a good one to have. Grayson Rodriguez, my favorite pitcher in the minors. Chris Bubick. Elidomar Vargas. I'm shocked he's in this. He's been out of the minors for a while now. Brennan Malone. Sad that the D-backs traded him for Starling Marte and then traded Starling Marte. So pretty upset about that. Gunnar Henderson. I think he was a second round draft pick behind Adley last year. RBI leaders. Mason Martin. So Mason Martin led in home runs and RBIs. George Valera. He's a good name. Luan Diaz. Some people like him a lot. I'm not crazy. Bryson Stott. Matt Walner. Edward Olivares. He got traded. Padres are high on him, and then they traded him. It's kind of weird. I forget what team he's on now. It was on the Blue Jays and the Padres, and now I can't remember. All right, all this, these packs need to go. Too many of them. Throwing them straight on the ground. Too many of them. All right. Hunter Green. I think I, I have high, high hopes for Hunter Green, honestly. He might be a really good buy low after his Tommy John. Kelnick. Hudson Potts. Did he do anything? He had 17 home runs. How old is he? 98. So what's that? Four years younger than me, so he's like 21. He's got pop. But he's also a lifetime minor leaguer already. He's already played 423 games. So probably not the, the best one to have for a numbered card in this. He's got power, though. Maybe he'll do something eventually. Matthew Libertori. This is the guy that's from Arizona. Yeah, this is the guy I was thinking about for the Rays. Ulrich Borjarski. Brian Rochio. So it looks like we definitely have another auto. And here's this stupid card again. Chance to be on your own card. I shouldn't say stupid. Some people might like it. I'm not going to do it, though. Cody Hose. Tarek Skubal is a good name. Victor Mesa Jr. Forrest Whitley. Jonathan India. Julio Rodriguez is nice. Spencer Howard is a good name also, but I'm not, not super high on him. Phillies fans might be mad at me for that. Hey, Riley Green. Cool. From a PC. Nick Lodolo, another good name. Khalil Lee, scratch off. So our third scratch off, Miguel Vargas. Brenton Doyle. I think this guy's low key as hell, honestly, you guys. I think he might be the most low key player in Bowman Chrome this year. Dude's a stud. Hit 383 this year in his rookie debut with eight home runs. Dude's good. Brock Deathridge, Duran, Paredes.
Rake Walston. He was a D-backs first round pick last year, two years ago. I can't remember. Or maybe second round pick. Vargas, Abrams, and Rhea. JB Bustakis. He's on the D-backs now. Jaron Duran Mini. So all of our, our minis are actually decent names. I don't know how wide the checklist is for that. Last pack before the last couple cards in an auto. Andy Pages, good name. Nico Holsizer pulled his auto out of... These are back-to-back. -back. These are the two autos I pulled out of my Bowman Chrome box. Matos. Mount Castle is a boost. Espinino. I'm going to put Mount Castle here. Espino. Cameron Misner. Um, this looks different. Is this a short print? It looks like a completely different color of black. I'm going to have to go through all these and see if I have any short prints. Nope. Tristan McKenzie. It's a good name. Skinniest man on the planet. All right. And then let's sweat the last potential auto. At least I think it's an auto. Oh, it's memorabilia, you guys. Oh, it is. It's a thin memorabilia card. Look at that. How dare they make a memorabilia card that freaking Hilliot Ramos thin Davis O'Neiller O'Neill Cruz again no that's the same pack I already saw that card and our memorabilia card A hey, for the PC at least and it's numbered Nick Madrigal out of 50 I wish it was a better patch than just black but for the PC I'll take it so not bad not bad all right guys so here are my hits I just went through all my cards and I actually did find three short prints. So we got the McKenzie Gore box topper. Pretty cool. Nick Madrigal, Casey Mize, and Jared Kelnick are all short prints, which are pretty cool. They're all big names. Uh, there's not a ton of value to these, but I'm sure if they were to grade well, uh, there would be. Since they're short prints, they're just the base short prints. I don't know what if it's an image variation or what, but they're all short prints. They all have different codes at the bottom. But good names to have. And then we have the Hudson Potts out of 50, the white border, the Nick Madrigal out of 50 memorabilia, and the Grant Gambrel autograph. So honestly, not a bad box, you guys. For $60, cannot be mad at all. Finding those short prints definitely made me feel even better too. So it's a fun product. I had a fun time opening. I'm not mad at all with what I got out of it. It's nice to have a product every once in a while that you can just say, screw it. I don't even care. I'm opening this for fun. And I know a lot of people can do that. But for someone like me on a budget, it's hard to do all the time. So finding something cheap with a lot of cards and a lot of players I'm interested in because you guys know how much I love the minor leagues. It's really fun. It's enjoyable. I loved opening this. There's actually good value to these two, you guys. Like, for example... I recently bought a couple of mail day videos ago, a Jordan Alvarez PSA 10 out of Heritage for 30 bucks. It's half the cost of the box. So if you're into grading, there's a lot of value to be found in these boxes, actually, especially with short prints and autographs, stuff like that. So it's a fun rip. If you guys like this video, want to see me open more cards, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys, as always, for watching, and you guys have a great rest of your day. See ya!